Like Azure Lion. Yes. Ha! Azure would look perfect on the throne. An ideal figurehead indeed. <laughs> I'm flattered, truly, but were it not for Sun Wukong bringing us together, I... Without you, none of this would be possible. Your courage to stand up to the Celestial Host has inspired us to finally take a stand. To make a true difference in the world. And I could think of none other more suitable to lead us on our conquest than you, brother. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Forgive me, brothers. Hand over the scroll, children. No, you hand over the scroll! Or... We've got the scroll. We've got the scroll! Now free our friends, and we don't have to get physical! You expect me to believe you are not responsible for stealing the scroll, despite it being in your possession? Yep! We don't even know what this friend ever is, so there's that! <laughs> He's laughing. Hey! Why are you laughing? Okay, okay. Let's start again. You must be MK the Monkey Kid and May the White Horse Dragon Girl. Tell us who you are, guy, before we miss you! <laughs> I've gone by many names. Perhaps the one you are familiar with is... The Azure Lion! Or not, okay. In any case, I am here to help. The item that imprisoned your friends is a fragment of the Scroll of Memory, an ancient artifact stolen from the Underworld. If not by you, then presumably by your master, Sun Wukong. You know Monkey King? <laughs> Everyone knows the Monkey King. But yes, he was once my sworn brother. Hmm, I see. Interesting. You know who else was a sworn brother of Monkey King? You might have heard of a little guy called Demon Bull King! Ah, well, the Sun Wukong isn't... Exactly the easiest person to get along with. He's got quite a habit of keeping people at arm's length. We were young, mistakes were made, and some mistakes can't be undone. Yo! So does that make you MK sworn uncle? Oh, MK, you didn't tell me you had an unky lion! Hey, May, you know Monkey King's not actually my dad, right? The only reason I can imagine Monkey King would have borrowed the scroll is that he's become sentimental in his old age. After all, that scroll contains the memories of his journey to the West. <gasps> You're telling me that I'm holding the Journey to the West legend in my hand right now? That and a great many other tales, I'm sure. Everything that has ever happened, every deed, every word has been recorded in the scroll of memory. It's a prison. Designed to contain wicked souls, forcing them to relive their past misdeeds over and over again for all eternity. In order to contain its prisoners, a powerful protective curse was cast upon the scroll to prevent those in prison from escaping and ensnare any who would seek to free those locked inside, trapping them forever. Left unchecked, that curse would have spread, consuming everything until nothing remained. I thought I arrived in time to contain the curse, but based on your expressions, I would hazard a guess that Sun Wukong has already been consumed, along with your friends. But it's fine, right? We'll just pop this bad boy open and get them back! It's too late to save them. We can't risk unleashing the curse into the world. You don't know. We'd risk it for sure. I won't abandon them when they need us. If your friendship with Monkey King meant anything to you... It meant everything to me. If your friendship is as strong as you say it is, then perhaps there is a way. 
but we need to move now. Wait, for real? Uh, you're actually gonna help? We're brothers. Nothing could ever change that. Yes, 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 yes! We'll just go in after them, find our boys in a bunch of cheeky little adventures, beat the curse, and big bang boom, we're done! I'll open the scroll long enough for you to get inside. But finding your friends, that'll be up to you. We got this! Yeah. In order to escape the scroll, you'll need to defeat its protective curse, but it's going to take all your strength combined. Now, hand me the scroll. If we're going to do this, we need to trust each other. Look out for one another. You can do this. Oh, thank you so much, Uncle Lion! <laughs> All right, ready? Good luck. You made it in safely. Great. May, MK, welcome to 7th century Chang'an. I trust you've experienced astral projection before? Yep. No? Is this what dying is like? Uh, a little astral projection never hurt anyone. Listen, I don't have much time. Remember how I told you the scroll has a protective curse? And that it'll try to find and destroy us? Uh-huh, yeah. Wasn't really gonna forget that part. Good. Try not to draw too much attention to yourself. The curse will be drawn to any imperfections it detects within its stories. So for starters, we need to do something about those. <laughs> you betcha. I found some duds your size over in that trash pile. Finding your friends won't be easy, but... <laughs> Ow! Come up! At least let me turn around first! If your bonds of friendship are strong as you say, then you will always find your way back to one another. Azure. Is that... Azure Lion? I've got a bad feeling about this, Mo. You. Me. King? Where are we? Azure? Where's Monkey King? Azure? Where's Monkey King? Explain yourself, Azure! What are you? Azure's been lying to us, MK. Um, maybe we should give Mr. Lion a chance to explain? I saw it! Here! Wherever this place is! Him! Plotting to take down Monkey King! That was his plan all along! To trap Monkey King inside that scroll and do something sinister! Something bad, probably! Hey! He's basically admitting it! And to think, I modeled my brand new sword after yours! Ugh, gross! It wasn't my intention to deceive you, but I knew you wouldn't understand. Sometimes it's easier to ask for forgiveness, not permission. Oh, okay. Then I hope you won't be upset when I don't ask permission. Greetings, little girl. Hey! Ah! Hold on! No! Please! Azure! Ping! Stop! This man isn't who you think. <laughs> oh, took you long enough, brother. Oh, I feel as though I've been trapped in that cursed thing for a thousand years. <laughs> How long has it been? <laughs> oh, I don't know, truth be told. Yellow Task, bring it in, old friend. <laughs> Azure! MK, I'm sorry things got so out of hand. Let me introduce you to my brothers, the Golden Pang, Yellow Tusk, the Wise. So this is all just some elaborate plot to break your friends out of prison or whatever that scroll is? But why not just tell us? He's a villain, MK. We never should have trusted him. Okay, okay. An explanation. I owe you that, at least. If you'll allow me. <laughs> Is 
that? Me? Yes. <laughs> oh, I was a strapping lad back then. I was once a celestial warrior, fighting to protect the weak. Or so I thought. Over time, it became clear to me that the Jade Emperor's only concern was keeping his subjects under his boot. He cared not for the plight of those he ruled. And then, I learned of the Monkey King, whose only allegiance was to his people. He'd made his land a paradise. I knew here was a warrior with my ideals. A brother. A king. <laughs> You all seem so happy. We were. We were going to change everything. It was glorious. What happened? What changed? We followed our king into glorious rebellion. But the might of the celestial host stood against us. Victory was in sight. But in the final moment, the monkey king failed. He wasn't strong enough to defeat the Jade Emperor. The battle was lost. Our cause destroyed and our king struck down. However, fate had one last cruel twist for us. Sun Wukong now yielded to an agent of the Celestial Host. Another warrior for the oppressors. And even so, our cause still burns strong in our hearts. While Sun Wukong cut down our kinsmen, we set ourselves on a greater path. If the Monkey King had it in his power to create a paradise on Earth, so too could we. Here, Camel Ridge. But the Celestial Realm did not abide the competition. My former brother was sent to destroy us and all we had built. It was with their combined power that we were cut down. Imprisoned within this scroll, left at the mercy of the Celestial Court. That can't be true. Monkey King's a hero. He wouldn't just... You saw it with your own eyes. Save your breath, Azure. His betrayal, his brutality. He took the only friends I had from me. I would have done anything in my power to bring them back. But it wasn't in my power. It was in yours. You saved my friends. You returned them to me. For that, I am eternally grateful. Great! You're grateful, you got your friends, we're done here, right? I'm sure Monkey King's learned his lesson, so just come back and, uh, we'll see you around. I'm afraid not. It was Piggy, right? Yeah. We haven't properly been introduced. No, Monkey King didn't understand then. I'm certain his position on the matter remains unchanged. And, uh, what matter was that again? We're finally going to finish what we started. No longer will we stand by as the Celestial Realm acts with callous impunity. The Jade Emperor must be dethroned. We cannot allow anyone to stand in our way. Until this is over, Wukong must remain within the scroll. Let Monkey King go. MK, please... Oh. What is this child? Careful, boy. Patience is not endless. I won't let you take Monkey King away from me again! Okay, I've seen enough. No! Our monkey man. No, no, this isn't what I wanted. All you had to do was wait. After this is over, I was going to release Sun Wukong, help him see reason. That is now impossible. Not after what you've done. But we can get it back, right? We can fix it. Maybe we can find some magic tape. I, I don't know. <laughs> hey, my golden deadly stick. What are you doing? Your ancestors were the agents of the Celestial Realm. Their weapons, forged by the heavens, wielded against the weak. It's time that was reversed. 
I'd hoped to mend the fracture between myself and Sun Wukong, but his legacy will live on in our victory. Brothers, it's time to go. We're just going to leave that kid out here? With that power? This is not his fight, brother. Just more victims of Wukong's blindness. Give him this charity. Leave him be. But beware. My charity is at its limit. Stay out of our way. Oh, yeah? And what if we don't? Uh, oh. This pursuit of yours has warped your mind, brother. It is the only reason I could imagine that you would have the nerve to assault my home and harm my family. I only bear fangs to those that would bear theirs to my own. Your family doesn't understand. We are brothers. It was our dream to conquer the Celestial Realm together. How many times must you be struck down chasing the same foolish dream? The Demon Bull King I used to know would not bend so willingly. He was strong. But it appears the beast has been tamed by the charms of a celestial maiden. Do not speak of my wife. Do not even look at her. <laughs> I don't know what happened at the time that we were gone, but I've returned to find the mighty have become weak. <sighs> You're a shadow of your former self, brother. Just another beast subservient to the will of the Monkey King. I expected more from you, brother. Celestial armies will crush you! I'll see to that! Good. Why don't you run along and let them know we're coming? <laughs> the Demon Bull King was our last hope of reforging the Brotherhood. As for Macaque, well, that coward has tucked himself away. Somewhere even I cannot sniff him out. No matter. We do not need them. We have power enough to finish this ourselves. As a lion, the golden winged peng, and yellow tusk the wise. Alone, they can best a thousand-man army. Together, they are nigh unstoppable. I <laughs> what a dump. Can't wait to say goodbye to this dirt pile. Yellow tusk, how are we traveling, darling? We are ready. As your life, I have no idea how it is you come to stand here once more. But you are not welcome in the Celestial Realm. Leave this place, or we will be forced to cut you down again. But this time, there won't be any coming back. You can try and stop us, Lotus Prince. But I can assure you the Jade Emperor's tyrannical rule ends today. <laughs> and so be it. you are a slave to is not worth your life. You're right. It's worth far more than that. What sort of fool would... Ah! Not... This fool! Ah! I spent 
spared you once, mortals. But I warned you not to rebel. You did not heed that warning. <laughs> now might be a good time to ask the Jade Emperor to tag in. He cannot. Cannot. Or will not. The only thing he cares for is himself. This lavish palace is proof enough of that. He has the power to do so much good in the world. But instead, he looks down on the weak, the starving, and the poor souls who fight these wars for him. It's despicable. Whether you like it or not, the Jade Emperor has a greater role in this world than you can comprehend. I guess I will find that out for myself. <laughs> 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 Not let anyone stand in my way, MK. Even you. I'm not here to fight you, Asher. Don't do this. <sighs> then you've come to throw your life away. <sighs> Mr. Tank! Now! Mm. Wait! No! <laughs> opportune, Azure. Were my time not already at its end, I doubt you would have stood a chance of overthrowing me. I hope this is not a disappointment. I do not care by which means you meet your demise, old man. Only that the new Jade Emperor is more worthy of the title. <laughs> and I suppose you believe that person is you. How is it you come to stand before me today, Azure? Was there a point where you questioned it? Or were you too oblivious with your own delusions to realize you are a mere piece in someone else's game? You may try, Azure. The throne will be yours. However, if you think I'll gift it freely, you are mistaken. Now the work can begin. 